WFAA News at 10 with breaking news. Boy, it just hit in a flash, and within a matter of minutes, DFW was littered with debris. High winds whipped through our neighborhoods today with deadly consequences. And now the cleanup and the recovery begins, and it's going to be a long one. I want to show you what parts of our area look like at this hour. A near total blackout in parts of East Dallas. Look at that. Barely any lights on the roads even. Tonight, Encore says more than 300,000 customers are still without power. Hour. And getting the lights back on again is going to be a multi day event. They're bringing in power crews from other places. There is debris all over the city of Dallas, so much so that 911 and 311 have both been inundated with calls today. The city is asking citizens to call 911 for emergencies only and 311 only for downed trees, flooding, and traffic lights that are out. And there are a bunch of those. Chris Lawrence is leading our coverage tonight live from East Dallas. Chris, you've been seeing destruction just all around you. Well, Jason, it started out as just such a beautiful day, and then it seemed like just like that it wasn't. Take a look at this red oak behind me. I mean, I'm, I'm six feet tall. This gives you an idea of the size of this tree that was literally just ripped up right out of the ground, and we have seen this throughout the city. Limbs down across the roads, trees in the homes, hundreds of thousands of people without power. I mean, you could see how close this family came to having this tree just completely tear their home in half. And when you look at this trunk, this tree trunk, it gives you an idea of the power of this storm. So the highest winds we detected were at Love Field and they clocked in at about 70 miles an hour. That's almost the same speed as a Cat 1 hurricane. It was so fast, so strong that people had no time to react when a crane came crashing down into their apartment building in Uptown. Now we are bringing you coverage from all angles. Kevin Reese is standing by at Parkland Baylor with one survivor story. And David Goins has an update on the search and rescue mission at the Eland City Lights apartment. So at this point, here is where we stand right now. We know one person has been killed, five others are injured, and two of them are in critical condition. The building has been evacuated and the people who live there are now staying in hotels. Here's David Goins. Oh my God, the crane is falling over. Oh my God. It is this short video posted to Twitter that helps explain all of this. Like all the lights started flickering, the entire building shook. It was really scary. It is only from the air you can begin to get a sense of how much damage the Elan City Lights apartments took on. I saw the crane and I just, um, my heart stopped. Then Kevin Collins ran. David Mendoza didn't need to see it. It just sounded like the gnarliest growl, just the deepest, most sketchy sound of just everything breaking. So he first quickly went to check on his car. That's when he realized the crane from a neighboring building under construction cut through every floor of the parking garage. Then Mendoza saw more. I just noticed there was a guy kind of like halfway hanging out of his car and I was like, oh man. He managed to help his neighbor escape. Not everyone did. Of the six injured, Dallas Fire Rescue confirmed an adult woman who lives inside did not survive. DFR worked into the early evening before confirming that no one else was trapped inside the five-story high-rise. Mendoza knows he was lucky. I mean, that thing crushed right through two living rooms on the fifth and fourth floor. I'm on the third. And tonight we have learned the owner of that crane is a company called Big E Crane out of California. They tell us they're mobilizing personnel to the site to try and find out more about what happened and also assist any authorities in their investigation. This building behind us is supposed to open next spring, but understandably tonight the focus has been on this building where hundreds are displaced. That's where we pick up with our Kevin Reese. Kevin.